Welcome back to the championships. This is the one we've been waiting to see, Leighton Hewitt, up against Taylor Dent. It's the Battle of the Young Guns. And I guess to call the Battle of the Young Guns, we're going to call out the old guns. John Newcomb and Fred Stoll. Okay, Kenny, that's your first one in for the day for the boys. Leighton Hewitt on deck here on centre court. And uh, obviously a favourite to win this one against Taylor Dent, who, as most of you folks at home know, that uh, he is the son minute, of uh, Phil Dent, who formerly played doubles with John Alexander and a uh, great Davis Cup stalwart and did well here at Wimbledon on the grass. And uh, Nuke, this is an interesting one. The first time where the viewers have had a look at uh, Leighton Hewitt without that cap on and the new hairdo. That's right. I was saying Ladies the other day that, uh, my opinion, I, I reckon he looks OK with uh, the short hair, so everyone will have a chance to judge for themselves if they think it suits him. Thank you very much. Taylor Dent is a tall lad, and uh, he's got a big serve. Played here last year, uh, you might remember, against Andre Agassi, right here on this court, centre court. And it was his first Wimbledon, but he was forced to retire. It was a first round match here, and uh, he took Agassi out in the first set, 6-2, just blew him off the court. And then Agassi came back 6-3, six, 6 love. And at four, love, when Agassi Taylor had things under control, uh, young Taylor tore uh, his right patella tendon and had to uh, forfeit. And so he's in good shape again now. That's uh, He retired in the first round. But uh, just like his dad, he's got a, a big uh, first serve as the prize money this year, career prize money, 91000 bucks. And uh, this is second round action here, so he's... He's due for about uh, 20,000, 25,000 US dollars here as uh, they prepare for the start of this one. Yeah, he's got a good game for grass, Taylor. He, uh, he's got a nice serve, a good backhand, good volleys. He, he likes to serve volley, likes to be aggressive. So I think this will be a, a, a good and an interesting test for, um, for Leighton. He, played in his first round Hewitt against uh, Gustafsson and uh, that, that was mainly a baseline game yep. uh, Gustafsson doesn't come in that much so he'll get a chance now to test himself out against someone who's more inclined to come to the net and uh, Taylor Dent in his opening match here this year beat Sergi Bruguera who's on the comeback trail but not a grass court specialist you might remember him uh, winning the French Open a couple of times but he took out Bruguera in straight sets six love six one six four so Leighton Hewitt seated number five here. Taylor Dent qualified for to the tournament. Taylor to serve. And it is Dent to serve. Fifteen love. Well, we saw a few of Dent's tricks at the start. He, he took the, the, the slam dunk overhead, jumped a couple of feet off the ground, hit one between his legs on the practice volley, so... He seems to be pretty relaxed out there. 30 love. Not a bad way to start. And Centre court, two aces. 132 miles an hour. That's uh, 212k, a little over 212k. That's not a bad start. matches in the qualifying dent in straight sets he didn't lose a set won three so matches to get into the main draw and then beat Bruguera he cleaned Bruguera up didn't he yep. so he's obviously full of confidence 40 love There he won uh, a challenger, which is one of the warm-up tournaments uh, in the lower category, coming into Wimbledon. But he had a couple of wins there. He, he beat Byron Black in the semi-finals, and you all know who Byron Black is. Uh, and, and Neville Goodwin, a South African, in the in the final. Byron Black, part of the Davis Cup team that took out Australia from Zimbabwe, took out Australia a couple of years ago on grass. Not a bad volley here from Dent. The low volley, just a superb passing shot. The hole was across court, and Hewitt, as he quite often does, found it. 
Paulista de Arik. Oh, that one. Took the racket. And 136 miles an hour. That one's getting up there too. He wins the first set. First game. One game to love. First set. There'll be a few nerves in Leighton's uh, stomach, I think, churning around about the centre court, Fred. Is how, what is that in K, that 136? 219. 219 yep. K. No, definitely. Any time you come out here, I don't care how many times here you've been here, just, uh, sit up like this, uh, you get nervous the first couple of games. Well, it's, uh, you know, his experiences haven't been too good in singles out in centre court. He lost two years ago to Boris Becker and really got a tennis lesson there. It was Leighton's first time out at Wimbledon, and then last year in the first round, lost to Gamble. Ned for service. So, a little bit of apprehension, I would think, in the beginning of this match, and probably pretty important for Hewitt that he does uh, get this first set. That's what we can expect dent to do and it's the, the right tactics for him he doesn't want to get involved in long baseline rallies that would be Hewitt's strength uh, not a bad approach shot and quite deep terrific passing shot interesting that he decided to approach Hewitt on the forehand uh, side 30 Dent's coached now by Elliot Telsher he, his dad Phil worked with him for years and they decided that it'd be better to sort of split up and get someone else in and Elliot, Elliot Telcher and uh, Phil no doubt would have planned some tactics for this match. Oh. The double fault so far for Hewitt, that's 30-15. Uh, Hewitt comes in here with great form. He's the only player to successfully defend a couple of titles this year but uh, He's, he's won two grass court titles coming into Wimbledon. Thirty old. Well, that's a sign of just a little bit of nerves. Well, then standing in quite far too. He's sending a signal to Hewitt saying, hey, you drop your serve at all short, I'm chipping and getting into the net. Could be a little bit of pressure he missed it pretty good cross court backhand from Dent there as well for a taller lad and he's got a break point the volley was there to put away but a little bit wide Dent is six foot two, a meter eighty-eight. So There's a big wingspan when he gets to the net, and the uh oh, that takes yes. a bit of courage. Dent was looking for a kick serve out to the backhand. He was going to chip it and come into the net. Hewitt serves the second one like a first serve down the middle for an ace. You got to have a bit of confidence to do that on break point. Well, it's early in the match too. Net for service. Oh. Advantage the approach there. shot, plenty of depth and slicing the backhand and you can slice it and it can float and sit up or you can do what Dent did then it, as it hit the ground it really skidded through quickly break point number two Good solid first serve uh, both yeah. these youngsters at 20 years of age obviously uh, Hewitt's had a lot more experience on the tour he's also won nine singles titles Dent yet to have uh, done that. He hasn't played in the Australian Open or the French Open. Taylor Dent. Advantage, Hewitt.
game point, Hewitt. Net for service. a little bit of pressure there Nick uh, because that's his that's his third double fault his opening service game and uh, knowing full well that Dent is going to come in behind it if he drops it short so you go for a little bit more a little bit extra a little bit extra depth juice oh nice change up Look at Hewitt now, he backpedals, he's ready for Dent to play a chip approach shot, not for the drop shot. Caught stranded on the baseline, as quick as he is, he had no chance to get there. Third break point. from Dent, he's solid from the baseline and likes to get into the net. Not intimidated at all by the looks of things. A no, very short forehand, this one from Hewitt. It didn't even make the service line and that allowed Dent to be able to play the aggressive approach shot, and get right on top of the net. Two love now, Dent. Yeah, definitely some early nerves there on Hewitt's part. Not so. We said that uh, Dent was pretty relaxed when he came out here in the hit-up, and he appears to have uh, started off with uh, out the butterflies. <laughs> and he has fond memories of this court last year. As I mentioned in the love. first set, he just hit Agassi off the court in a similar fashion the way he's going here. And uh, then Agassi gradually got to the serve. So it's a similar type of setup here. He's playing against somebody that is a great returner of the serve in Leighton Hewitt. Well, there'd be little seeds of doubt going through 212k, that one little seeds of doubt in Leighton's mind at the moment. Don't tell me this is going to be a nightmare like last year against Gamble. Gamble came out and played a blinder, didn't he? He certainly did, yeah. 145 miles an hour, that serve, folks. It was a fault, though. It was a fault, so that's about 230. That would have been a record, wouldn't yep. it? Yep. 30-15. The crowd don't miss much, do they? No. They saw that 145 yeah, they come they up on the, on the uh, speedometer down there. How about that for a second serve, though? 119 miles an hour. That's, that's a joke. That's 192k. So he hit that one even harder. 123 miles an hour on a second serve. 198 kilometers an hour on a second serve. But uh, that's getting him into trouble. It's 30 all. Oh, that was close. Called wide, though, from the chair. 30-40. Yep, good first volley. Gave Hewitt no play. Nice and deep and plenty of pace on it. Diaz.
caught the edge of the line. Brought up a little bit of chalk. Looked as if it was going out. That's good hands. Good feel, good today. touch at the net here from Dent. Game point. That's the difference when you get time to play the passing shot. Gent comes in and Deers. picks up a pretty good shot. Got nice and deep, but it had no pace on it. So Hewitt had plenty of time to set up. That's why I said this match is, is a little bit reminiscent of last year with, with the Agassiz because once uh, Hewitt gets hold of the Dent serve and makes some good returns, he's going to be able to set up the pass. Advantage Dent. Another good serve, though. Come back well. Game point. <laughs> yep, tried the change up then, Dent. Put in a three-quarter pace kicker for the first, which was a smart way to serve. But once Hewitt gets a look at it, he's more often than not, he's going to play a pretty good return. Advantage Dent. serving better to the juice court than he is to the ad court dent he's got more first serves in here and when he misses that first serve then uh, hewitt has had control of the second serve from the ad court another I good serve to the juice court it seems to be his favorite one doesn't yeah. it going out wide you know, wouldn't be surprised to see hewitt just stand a half a pace further out there trying to block that shot he's practicing the forehand volley got him ladies singles round two Yelena Dokic through 6264 over Jennifer Hopkins one of the uh, Thank you. younger players from the United States is coached by Australia's Ray Ruffles and uh, so a good result there for Dokic Dokic playing here under the Yugoslavian flag Love and there's been a lot written about that the key for Hewitt is to try to keep the ball deep in these rallies you see that one just landing on the service line that's going to allow Dent to attack the net and from Dent's uh, point of view he's going to try to hit the ground strokes as hard as he can throw Hewitt off balance and force the short balls It's always dangerous when you do those rolls and get up again because sometimes you jam that hand as he got up there and had a look at his right hand. You jam the hand with the, the racket or the butt of the racket on the ground. You've got to be a little careful with that manoeuvre. Out. Love 40. Love 40. An overrule there from Javier Moreno Perez. He's uh, one of the ex more experienced gentlemen in the chair. So, love 40 break points for Dent. Hello. That one's gone long. Yeah, Dent. So, Hewitt pressing a little bit there under the barrage of returns and serves from this young man, Taylor Dent. 
crowd are uh, stunned at the moment. It's just a horror start, isn't it? This is last year revisited. He'll be going through Leighton's head for sure. So he's got to shake all that off and uh, get down to business here. Funny place, this centre court at Wimbledon. If you allow the, the negative thoughts to get into your body, sometimes it can be hard to shake it off. 15, look. Smart tactics. Instead of rolling deep, drop it short. Keep changing it up. Don't let your opponent settle. That's good touch, isn't it? The, from a, a low volley to be able to do that. Nice follow through too. Yes, moved in to get the next one. Didn't wait for the ball to come to him. Just not judging the pace at all at the moment. Hewitt on the serve. Uh, he's not used to somebody firing second serves down at that pace. 20 minutes, he, he's going to be down five, love. That's the change-up yeah, serve, the kick serve out wide. So he's got it all, this young fellow at the moment. Five, love, Dent leads. Mage. Dent born 24th of April, 1981. And Leighton Hewitt, a um, couple of months older, he's born 24th of February 1981. But uh, the scoreboard says Dent 5 Love. Another double fault. Love 15. So I would think that he would actually knew try to win this game to serve first in the second set. And uh, not going to make much inroads into this set. But it's. I think it's important that he serves first in the uh, 59 second set. Well, he's got to formulate a, a, a game plan on his own service games before he starts worrying about breaking dense serve too. How's he going to hold his own serve? Get into some sort of game rhythm. <coughs> At the moment, Dent has got him off balance and he's continuing those good tactics of going for everything. 30. He rips this backhand. He's forcing Hewitt to hit short balls and then attacking. Well. That's a pretty good set of tennis. Whichever way you look at it, there's not many unforced errors coming from Taylor Dent's racket. That was a brilliant approach or a brilliant chip off a pretty fair second serve. Uh, two set points. Hewitt's, Hewitt's backhand sort of all right at the moment. The forehands, though, he's not got a lot of confidence in it. They're all landing short. Still set point. This is an important game, Fred, as far as the second set goes, for Hewitt to at least establish some sort of beachhead here against the assault. Advantage, Hewitt. Game point, Hewitt. Net for service. Oh. 
again. Hewitt, good game for Hewitt to win, and his many fans around here, the fanatics, the Australian group here, and a lot of other folks here in their small groups cheering for store. him as they follow the Davis Cup team around. And he's on the board, but an important game because I think he might lose this one and then start the second set serving. Well, uh, the, the folks are thinking, hey, this guy can serve as hard as Rosetsky. 133 miles an hour, 214k. Thirty left. That one was quicker, 135 miles an hour. I'm spending all my time looking at this this board converting miles per hour to kilometers. It's incredible, uh, the serving power. Forty left. Three set points. It's five aces. Five aces and 14 unreturnable serves. Well, he's going for it, so he's have to serve a couple of double faults when you're serving second serves like that. 40-15. An unbelievable serving exhibition from young Taylor Dent as he wins the opening set in this match, six games to one. This woman's made a really smart decision. She's bought a spacious Camry wagon that handles like a sedan. So she feels perfectly entitled to do something crazy. Flabbergasted at that uh, first set of tennis. Nick, let's see what the stats tell us. Well, one of Leighton Hewitt's strengths is he's uh, the least amount of unforced errors of just about anyone on the tour. But look at this 15 unforced errors by Hewitt against nine for Dent. I would imagine that'll have to swing around to Hewitt. Only 46% of first serves in, and he's only winning 38% of points on his second serve and under 50% on his first serve. First set totally dominated by Taylor Dent. Let's see if Hewitt can shake off this apprehension that he's obviously feeling and uh, get stuck into this match, establish some sort of routine. It's getting pretty dark outside, so there is a chance of rain. That would be bad news for Hewitt. We love it there. Some on the, the, the way Dent's playing, gosh, he could come out tomorrow and you know play two unbelievable sets, another, couldn't he? Yeah, another come out of the blocks just the way he has today because he's not intimidated at all with the circumstances or the fact that he's on centre court in front of 15,000 people. <laughs> you could say he was swinging from the hips. Yeah, we'll have to... <laughs> At the break uh, in our next door booth, the Italians are uh, going back to Italy, and Paolo Bertolucci came Man in for and service. asked me if there was something wrong with Hewitt. 
He's run into a buzzsaw at the moment. Love 30. First one of the second set for Hewitt. 15, Good 13. move from Dent again. See, he got the short ball, only landed on the service line. The approach shot was not quite deep enough, and he paid the penalty. Well, he's not going to hit great approach shots all the time, is he? But his game plan is such that he wants to put pressure on the passing shots for Hewitt, and he is continuing to do so. Again, you can't win all of those because you make up your mind to hit that approach and get in behind it. So you have important. to lose a few of them, but if you win more than uh, under these circumstances, then you're going to win. You've got to become out a winner. Wait, please. Wait, please. Two break points, 15-40. Bet that he's going to give this one a ride or get in behind it. He can't buy a first serve at the moment, Hewitt. Double oh. fault. Game dead. Well, this crowd is absolutely stunned here, folks. Yeah, this he serves a double fault. Taylor Dent with a break. First game in the second set. Serving only at 41% of first serves, Hewitt. Well, it, I see some people putting some jackets on there as it's uh, getting increasingly Ladies dark outside. Please, no flash photography during play. Probably the Thank best you. thing that could happen to late yeah, the, the rain to come down and uh, get off the court and have a chat to Darren Cahill, settle his nerves down, re-establish himself. But as you said on the other side of the coin, it may not do him any good because uh, you come back again and Dent plays a blinder like he's played in the first set. There's not much you can do. Fifty love. That's the family there. They've got to look a little concerned at the moment, Mum and Dad. say they'd be more than a little. Fifty all. First one he's really timed off the first serve. <laughs> Two in a row. He's got to do something pretty good here to turn this around. Fifteen thirty. Starting to get a better look at now at uh, Dent's serve and reading it a little better. Three huge returns off first serves. That's great stuff. 15 40. Oh, he's a fighter. We all know that. Yeah, Two yeah. break points. A little Aussie battler there in the stand. Yep. Cheering for Leighton. A good story about little Aussie battlers. The stewards here knew have jobs, and they, one of them yesterday was asked to uh, come over. There was an Aussie out there on the phone having an argument with his wife at home. And they asked the steward, the, he said, Hey, can you come over here? I'll tell you after this point. Oh, a nervous shot from Hewitt. So he didn't move his feet at all. Yes. So he gets the steward over and he says, hey, mate, can you talk my wife back in Australia? And he says, yes. Yeah. So the steward says, I am a steward. I'm here at Wimbledon. And so uh, he said, thanks, mate. He said, my wife had been calling the hotel all night 
and I'm out here waiting for tickets. She thought I was out with a Sheila. So that made the papers out here today. Lots of Australian fans here. And he's made it. Yep, better top spin live. He measured that one. Third break point opportunity for Hewitt. He really has to make something happen here and try and turn around the momentum. He's had a much better look at the serve in this game so far. Oh. Yes. Not much he can do about that. Leighton having a quick look at the other end. So I can't believe under pressure you can still come up with those serves. Juice. Advantage. Well, that's the danger, isn't it? When you go for that big serve the way he does, he served uh, six aces, but that's been uh, balanced by five double faults now, and this one at a critical time gives Hewitt another break point chance. Oh, well, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. There is no need for that shot, but that's inexperience. That's well, we'll mark that down and see if this is the turning point in the match nearly took Leighton out he, all he had to do <laughs> was put a hole right through him if it had hit him the way he's been hitting those high volleys he could have put that anywhere and uh, he wanted to get out there and hit it and bounce it into the backstop that's inexperience and a little stupid one all got no timing on the ball at all Love in his there. ground stroke rallies that was a very soft shot must be starting to rain I think ladies and gentlemen what we're suspended. talking about will give Leighton a chance I can see Darren Cahill is out of his seat over there as quick as a flash he'll be down into that dressing room real quick smart to have a, a good chat to Leighton and let's hope he can tell him something that'll Get him in the shape. Check the efficiency of the ground crew here. Hewitt will have to hurry or he'll be Dent. lost. No, it's Dent that they almost took him out. And Leighton here too. He's uh, just got out of the way. Well, Dent was just Dent reaching down and net. picking up his water bottle. <laughs> they were running at him. A couple of years ago, we lost a fellow after the, under the tarpaulin there in one of these deals. And uh, the record is about 11 seconds. They lost him under the tarpaulin and they had to go back and get him. And they took him off to hospital as uh, Taylor Dent leaves and he'll go into the locker room to see his dad and Elliot Telsha. Look at the efficiency of these groups. They have contests out here with all their different groups for different courts. And the record is 11 seconds for them to get those covers on. So they get these weather forecasts uh, from the Weather Bureau. They know that there is uh, rain coming. And that's a good look at the back there with the, uh, the efficiency of the crew here with the, the ivy off the front there with a clock and then this is uh, incredible the way these ground staff and they sleep here they stay here throughout the championships sleep overnight here there the umbrellas up and so uh, it's not a heavy rain it's not, just a very light sprinkle at this stage it's just a sprinkle and we hope that uh, it's one of those English showers that gets out of here in a hurry in the meantime we'll take a break And uh, just you know, give a nod of approval or something that um, you know, is just reassuring Leighton that he's he's you know he's got to get it together and quickly before the match slips away. Okay, well the boys are warming up, and as you can see, the entourage is there watching them, and uh, we're joined now with uh, Fred Stolley and John Newcomb. Thanks, little Kenny. It's a nice afternoon back here now. As the boys are out here, they've been off. If they're off for more than a half an hour, 20 minutes, they get a five-minute warm-up. And uh, it's uh, going to be five minutes because obviously if it's less than 20 minutes, they get a three minute warm up. And uh, you've had a look at the, the folks up in the uh, stands in the players enclosure up there. You saw the, uh, uh, the, the Hewitt entourage and behind them was Elliot Telsher who now is uh, taken over as the coach of uh, 
young Taylor Dent. And also up there with, was Jennifer Hopkins, who you just saw against Yelena Dokic. And uh, she is the young friend uh, the, that is going out a little bit now with, with Taylor Dent. So that's a little bit more knowledge for you folks at home. You know that Kim Kleisters is uh, going out with Leighton Hewitt. Well, now Jenny, young Jenny Hopkins is paled up with uh, Taylor Dent. They warm their minute. serves up here. And you, what can we look for here? Always a change helps one or the other, doesn't it? Well, who's it going to be? Well, there's a couple of scenarios that you could look at here, but I, I want to ask the folks at home a question first, and I'll, I'll mention the answer a little later on. Can you notice anything different about Leighton now than from when he left the court? That's the question. Now, well, as far as the tactics go, uh, you know, from Taylor Dent's point of view, gee, he could come out and have another 20 minutes like he did in the first set where everything he hit turned to gold and got those huge first serves in. Uh, that could happen. But uh, from Leighton's point of view, I think it'll probably work in his favour that he was able to have that break because uh, I I'm pretty sure what was going through his mind was this is nightmare revisited. This is a gamble last year in the first round when I lost on centre court and the year before I lost to Boris Becker on centre court and the nightmare is happening again. So he's going to have to shake off all that apprehension and get that out of his mind and just get out there and concentrate on a tennis ball and put himself in a zone. Well, uh, if Taylor Dent comes out blazing the way he did in the opening set, then uh, it's not good news for Leighton Hewitt. Hewitt is seated number five here. He's the experienced campaigner. They're both 20 years of age, and they're both warming up their serves. So what's new? I, I, I think I know the answer, but uh, you, you can tell the folks at home. Well, Leighton's got a cap on now. He didn't have a cap on before, and he's not only got it on, but he's got it backwards. Gone back to the lucky cap, see if that changes things around. He amazing? loves doing little things like that late. And at one Davis Cup match against Germany, Wayne Arthurs was uh, he finished up winning something like 11-9 in the fifth set against Brindisil. And at, uh, at, at nine all in the fifth, Leighton got uh, all the boys on the bench there to turn their caps backwards. And, and then he, he, he yelled out to me, he said, yeah, get your cap around backwards. This is the lucky move. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough, he broke serve. Sure, uh, it's amazing the little idiosyncrasies and the superstitions that players do have. A lot of them uh, don't like to walk on the lines on a tennis court. They will not step on the line. They'll step over a line when they're walking. And a lot of them like to walk around the outside of the court. And somebody like a Greg Rosetsky or even a Goran Ivanisevic, when he played the other day, had a good win over Carlos Moyer the other day, Ivanisevic. And uh, when they serve an ace with a particular ball, they want it back again. Time. And uh, that's a Force big serving match please. tomorrow. Even Izovic has been a finalist here three chair. times. He takes on Roddick, the young American. So there'll be a lot of aces served here. But this is a tough one for Hewitt to get back into. A tough time to restart too, yep. Fred, because shadows we were pointing say. out yep. uh, the other day about the shadows coming across the court there. And if you start the match in sunlight and then as the day goes on, you, you get used to the shadows. But coming out now, the shadows are there and they're starting fresh into that. That could cause some problems early on. And there's Leighton Hewitt just toweling down, get a last little drink of water before he goes out. He's down love 15 in this game. And he's just broken Taylor Dent serve to get back into this second set at one all. This is a really key game for him. To win his serve, get ahead and start making Dent play catch up. Well, we've noted as far as the serve is concerned, um, Taylor Dent, the average miles per hour, 119 miles per hour, is second serve is faster than Leighton's first serve, which is 117 miles per hour. So we're looking at a 189k as an average second serve. tactics from Dent we'll immediately try to put some pressure on Hewitt first up the key to his net game has been his terrific approach shots they've been landing so close to the baseline with plenty of pace I don't think Leighton's got one first effect effective first serve in, in the match so far Dent was on his way in and then retreated. That was a good tactic because it caught him uh, on the back foot with the forehand. 
40-15. As you mentioned, lots of Australian supporters here. Some of them uh, queued up all night to get tickets. Welcome back to Wimbledon and an important stage of uh, this second round match. Dent serving. He's won the first set, as you know, and it's on serve in the second. They've already had two breaks of serve in the second set. But it's uh, now Hewitt Hill who's for 2-1. And Dent Look starts off with a double fault. And that's been rather costly for him. That's his sixth double fault of the match. opportunity now Hewitt Not ripping that one straight back at him he could have pretty much put it anywhere well he probably thought that Dent was going to take off uh, across the court 15, 15. so Dent answers with an ace it's his seventh pick this one up and nice anticipation here good moving for so a big fella because he had made a move to his right to cover the down the line shot he had to bring his body weight back the other way and maintain his balance well done great recovery and he had to have a firm grip of the racket as well Solid volley, just a little bit too much pace on it for the uh, top spin lob. Not enough time for the execution. Yeah, that's one of Leighton's favourite shots too. He missed it by about a metre and a half. It's a pretty good signal that his timing at the moment is still not there. Net for service. Game point now for Dent. A heavy serve. Two games all. Two games all. Second set. Be a bit disappointed with that, Hewitt, because he had the opportunity there to break, and it would have been uh, great for him to get the service break. But now, the job is still at hand: how to consistently hold his own service games. forehand Hewitt two forehands in a row landed on the service line finally got some depth and forced the error
This is a little better. Down the line, passing shot. Forces up the, the weak return. Good footwork moving forward. Smart too, he didn't go straight at him then in case the reflex volley was good enough for Dent. He went back in behind him for the winner. 30 love. Good net position again from Dent. That's a fine, aggressive chip return, and uh, he was on the volley, just uh, hit it right on top of the tape. 40 love. This is the easiest service game that Hewitt's had for a while. Yeah, he to love. So he stays in front in set number two. Three games to two, Hewitt. Hewitt leads by three games to two. Whether we've seen anybody hit the ball harder than the two young American boys that you've seen this week in Andy Roddick and Taylor Dent. He'll give you his answer. Fifty left. Yeah, I mean, they hit unbelievably hard. Roddick uh, gives it a thump. So does Dent. It's great service action, isn't it? Yes. Nice and smooth. Doesn't take a lot out of himself. Good shoulder turn, hip turn. But off the ground, they both thump the ball so hard as well. Fifteen all. That's what Hewitt's got to work on, trying to work the second serve over. Get a lot of low returns. That, that puts pressure on the first serve. Net for service. Feel like you better get your first serve in or you're going to be in trouble. At the moment, Dent's winning 47% of the points on his second serve. Missed the baseline, a better controlled lob that one though. 13 15. Yes, even though he lost that point, it's something that uh, next time Dent will think about that because he closed in. Had that ball been in, he would not have made the, the, the recovery, he would not have been able to get to it. So he's got to think about that. Maybe hang 14, back a little 15. bit. Ace number eight. One of the things that Hewitt's trying to come to grips with out there is he's not having a lot of time to prepare to set himself to play the shots because of the power of dense game. And it's smart yeah, play yeah. again. He's done that several times. I'm sure this is a tactic that they worked out beforehand. Don't always try to crack the volley hard. Play some drop Three volleys. Try to keep Leighton off balance at the back of the court. Well, particularly here, that wouldn't be a real good sh shot on a hard court, would it? Or even a clay court. But here, for the first few days, on the green grass, on the grass, that ball does not bounce as high as it would on a hard court or a clay court. So it's a little more effective, the shot, the drop volley. Then Dent half committed. He was a couple of steps in and then retreated. Thirteen left. Brown marks on Layton's cap. I'm I'm not sure, but I think that might be his cap from the French. He's lucky superstitious. So, yeah, he's got his lucky cap. Didn't want to wash the brown marks off. Oh. 40 left. 
very patient and he just picked his mark and that's what you have to do if somebody's just chipping and charging all the time but again good tactics from Dent he's sticking to the game plan 40 love Ned for service it's a fascinating contest out there at the moment isn't it you've got the two completely different styles of play and the question is can Dent keep Hewitt off balance type of game Leighton hates to play very short rallies the other guy just throwing everything at him real quick can't get settled into any routine good solid volley hasn't been in the net too often Hewitt excellent volley 4-3 second set Rather a damp day at Wimbledon. You can see the outside courts. They have not started play on the outside courts because they got uh, a little more juice on them, a little more rain than did centre and court one. And now we're back live. In Nines oh. Wide World of Sports. Second round action in the men's singles. Leighton Hewitt and Taylor Dent. Dent winning the first set. 6-1, 4-3 on serve. I'm Fred Stolley with John Newcomb. Double Love fault. It. It'll be interesting to see what they do about that other ball because it went up behind the scoreboard and it's nestled in uh, nicely there. Someone's <laughs> going to have to climb out in the awning to get it back. Well, they've only, they only got uh, this game and one more game to play with these balls anyway, so I suppose they won't worry about it. for When he serves a double fault, Dent, he serves the end of the net. He's yet to serve a double fault long, which means that he's ducking his head a little bit, dropping that front shoulder, the left shoulder, hooking the head down a little bit. Everything's gone into the net. sword die by the sword at the moment There's a lot of pressure on him if he misses this first sir also this is a good time because we we're just talking uh, we, you know Hewitt doesn't want to get this set to a tie break and uh, play Russian roulette with Dent in a tie break situation Be a nice time to break right here if you can that one he ripped down folks at 137 miles an hour 220 kilometers an hour that's pretty good serving still a break point well that was a good volley yeah it was a good volley nice and deep and yes. again Leighton played the, the, the shot to the right area it would have gone past Dent at the net but he, he pulled it into the net not getting enough time to set himself for the pass it's all happening so quickly. Juice. <laughs> Missed again. He doesn't miss too many of those. He hasn't been able to make one yet today. Last two have missed by centimetres. Game point now, Dent. Ned for service.
Again, it's just well, pace well. of shot. Hewitt was there, but the execution wasn't because he just didn't have time to prepare. Four games off. Four all. He's moving well, Dad, isn't he? He's getting in very quickly behind his serve for a big fella. Dent, I mentioned six foot two, meter eighty eight. Leighton Hewitt, five eleven, about a meter eighty. give him some confidence he needs that shot in order to try to break up the attacking play of Dent and Dent looking for down the line or cross court you can see his weight shifted forward he'll have to watch out for that one now Dent and that may open up a little bit of space for the passing shots Dent all huge point that last one pressure on Hewitt, isn't he? 30, good, his game good plan. tactics. Good tactics. 30-15. And as this second set draws to a close, the pressure starts to mount. have to go to the second serve a lot getting 43 percent of first serves into play fred that's terrible isn't it not good and dents over 60 percent and uh, he's thrown in a bunch of double faults and he's still over 60 percent 40 15. <laughs> 40 30. shot because it was a pretty good approach deep Hewitt didn't panic though so he holds 5-4 now second set match has been in progress now just over an hour as we welcome you back to center court round two of the men's singles that's the score line it is Dent serving now to stay in this second set with new balls too, it should give Lisa a whack. <laughs> that error by Dent tried to go Love back behind did. Hewitt, anticipating Hewitt to be running across court, but he held his ground. Let's see if he made a move. He was sort of trapped. Good move by uh, Hewitt, actually. He did a little fake to the left and then held his ground. Love 15. <laughs> 15 off. Thirty fifteen. So 
Terrific depth on the volley. No answer to that if you can get it in. 40-15. Telling you this, but this is 123 mile now, 198 k on a second serve, and uh, and Hewitt hasn't hit a first serve as hard as that. Five all. Love. It's a very short, not a lot happening at the moment. There's uh, the two families. Both camps. Phil Dent in the blue shirt there at the back. Father of oh, Taylor. Former Australian Davis Cup player. Great doubles combination with John Alexander. Saying before, Fred, there's not a lot happening in the rallies at the moment and the points, and that's just the way Dent wants it. That, that'd yeah. be his game plan. Keep, keep the rally short. Don't let uh, Hewitt get settled at all into his game. much pressure drop the ball a little short and you're in trouble and he was having problems so far with his forehand let's look at where this one lands see that only landed not quite three-quarter court not enough power on it either it's being hit off the court 30 all Just like Roddick, he's just all, you know, he's dancing around, he's hungry, he wants it. And there was a set up by the return, a break point now. Those, those returns are landing centimetres from the baseline with a ton of power. I wonder if he'll try a big one down the middle. Trying to drive himself there, pumping his fists. Come yes. on. So much pressure on this point, isn't it? He misses that point. That's virtually the first yeah. set, isn't it? And it wasn't that. The second that, set. It wasn't that easy shot because it was a miss hit forehand and so there was a lot of topspin on it. So he had to be careful, but managed to hit the winner, Juice. Two young fellas, both 20-year-olds. Look, look, look at this return again. Centimetres from the baseline, one oh, after right, another returns of serve. Pretty good approach shot. That's real near the baseline. Having to thread the needle to survive out there. Game point. Hewitt.
Hewitt holds. He leads six games to five, second set. So we have a couple of patches of blue sky over there. We've had the two storms go through this afternoon. That's caused a bit of a problem, but not that much. It's 6.30, just after 6.30 local time here. And it's Dent now serving to try and get this second set to a tie break. He's won the first. to win that point Hewitt because the return was going to win the point if it hadn't have hit the tape Love this game. <laughs> that's good stuff fun love, to watch it is love 15 <laughs> 15 all. The extra pressure on you is when you do make a return and you get into the point, you feel, boy, I better make the most of it because I mightn't see another ball. And again, Hewitt's having to pick this serve up, coming out of the shadows into the sun. You can see the ball toss as it goes up, gets into the sun, and then it's struck. 15-13. Didn't like the call, but uh, the Cyclops is there. Takes control of that. You can't argue against the machine. Full level with the aces. 10 double faults, 10 aces. 15-30. Now only winning 38% of his second serve points. So the odds are here are in Hewitt's favour. Tough second 15, serve. 15-30. He served two double faults in his last service game from this end. 15-30. Two set points for the number five seed. And as I said before, that's where Hewitt's got to make the inroads. He's got to work that second serve over. Put some pressure back on Dent. Take it off himself. Ned, second service. <laughs> Makes this second serve real, real hard. Set point down, you serve a let on the second well, serve. Boy. You can't say just spin it in at 90 <laughs> miles an hour, can you? Because he's hitting an average second serve at 117. And there's a double fault. Cost yeah, him the second set. And that's a little inexperienced. Two double faults in his last couple of service games from this end. It's a set all. And the stats tell the story here, Nick. Yep, have a look at the aces and double faults from Taylor Dent. 11 double faults, 10 aces there, unforced errors. Hewitt's still got more unforced errors than Dent. That's a little bit of a worry and not something you'd look at. I don't know how they're classing the unforced errors, though. Forehand winners, 12 to 9 for Hewitt. Backhand winners, a little edge there to Dent. Oh, I'm wondering if some of those errors, I'd call them forced errors. It's a, really a judgment call, isn't it, on uh, what they're calling an unforced yep. error. Well, this is an exciting match now, and uh, it's got to go the distance. It's a set all, and uh, Hewitt's probably very happy that he didn't get into a tie-break situation because that's just uh, a little bit like Russian roulette. 50 left. It'll be interesting to see if Dent can keep up the great returns of serve that he's been hitting, landing so close to the baseline. Yep. 
30-15. Good serve setting up the structure for this point and nice preparation, ready to go to the backhand or forehand, waiting for his opponent to make a move. Spring in his step or T fifteen. Forty fifteen. Great depth again on the approach, but Hewitt threads the needle and it's one game to love. First game of the third set. Third set. You can see him there. Trying to drive himself to to get in as in, in Leighton's mind, he pitches himself in a, in a in a fight now, and he's been knocked down on the floor, and he's got to get up off the floor, and he's trying to drive himself. That's how he gets it going. Some people like it, some don't. Some do, and some don't. Well, he played a terrific passing shot there because again, Dent keeping the pressure on on good approach shots. referring back to, to Hewitt's come on and the clenched fist and all that most of the time in these matches he's playing blokes that are a lot bigger than him a lot heavier a lot taller they're heavyweights he's got to get the adrenaline going to keep it up with them hit today I think they've got it in forty love eleven aces it's kind of a race between the double faults and the aces isn't it yeah. eleven all at the moment Somebody that is all over the net, the power game against one of the ball. The counter puncher with one of the best returns of serve in the business, and we're at one all in set three. Yes, we're not seeing a lot of great rallies out here as we, we have in uh, other matches, but it's the contrast that's got the interest of the crowd here. Fifth one of his own aces, ace number two for Hewitt. The contrast in styles of play and personalities too. Thirty left. the shot that he did 30 15 that's incredible <laughs> what an angle created something out of nothing 30 15 oh. it's got to be a Toyota top shot that one too unbelievable angle drop volley oh. again I 
terrific return of serve just inside the baseline. Very good defensive work from Hewitt there to chuck up that high towering lob. That's good approach, that's tough stuff. 40 30. 40 30. He's got a great game for grass court mm. play, hasn't he? He's going to, over the years, Taylor Dent's going to give a lot of top players, probably become a top player himself. A lot of top players are nightmare out here. On this surface. Yep. Leighton's having his own particular nightmare at the moment. Again, Hewitt. That's his second serve again. He likes that one down the middle. It's two games to one. Hewitt leads third set. You can see the outside courts here, the one at the bottom end of your screen. They have given that one a rest as they, they stagger the courts as they get through a few days because they've got the program up to date. So they give them a, a rest for a day. And the ones that are not in great shape after a lot of wear and tear. So it's 2 1 now. Hewitt and a set. One set all. Ben's trying to jam him there on that second serve, trying to go at his body, but Hewitt standing back a little bit further and giving himself some swinging room. I think you're going to see a few more of those. Dent for service. Uh, for the first couple of sets, that's been the side that Dent has had the success on his serve. Has been at the juice court. He served better that side than the other. And now Hewitt has come up with a couple of forehands. He's run round backhands to make them. We might see on that first court, we might see Dent try to, um, <laughs> he just went to the wrong side to surf. Try to swing one wide on the second surf. <laughs> Love 30. Love 30. Important window here for Hewitt. He continues to get on top of the second surf. Almost had to do that because he's not having a lot of success elsewhere, so he had to try another area. <laughs> and they're trying a change up first serve that time. Three quarter pace with kick. to the forehand twice Thank in a row and Hewitt really upset with himself there. He had a crack at two second serves at Love 30 and he's missed both returns. And that's from one of the best returns to serve in the game. Double fault, and they're creeping ahead of the aces. Break point. You've got to be looking for this to come to your forehand, haven't you? Yeah, he's got to take a little bit off this, too. Oh. Net, second oh. service. Okay, he's gone to the forehand on the second serve. Does he go there again? Does he kick it into the backhand? Come on! Yeah, Hewitt. Hewitt looks up. 
to the family, the coaches. He would lead it's a good by return of serve, and as a matter of time, once he gets a look at that second serve, he's made Dent play a lot of half volleys. When Dent's been able to play the volley, it's been not a bad shot, even off his shoelaces, but the half volley, Hewitt's had a lot more success with his next shot, if he's had to play one. Three games to one. Fifteen up. Thirteen, fifteen. It's actually winning more points now on his second serve than on his first serve. He's only winning 58% of the points on his first serve and 61% on his second serve. That's a weird stat. 40-15. That's what I'd like to see him do more, Fred. Take a little bit of pace off the first serve and get more in. You know, it's just really tough to win out there when you're, you're getting, he's getting 47% of first serves into play. Well, there was a time when he was getting 41% in, so he's lifted it a little bit. Oh! 40, 30. If you have to live off your second serve out there, sooner or later it's got to catch up with you. So if Leighton does go on in the tournament, it's one part of his game that he's got to lift. Well, that's, first serves in. that's what's happened to Dent, hasn't it? He's had to live off that second serve. It's okay getting the big serves in. He's got 11 aces, but he's had to live on the second serve, and the second serve has got him into the trouble with a couple of double faults, and that's the games that um, Hewitt has broken in. Four games to one now. Hewitt jogs to the sideline. Welcome back to Nine's Wide World of Sports, our live coverage on day four here at Wimbledon. And we've had such great weather the first three days, a little bit of rain. Action started a little later today, and they've been off court a couple of times, but uh, the maintenance crew get this court covered very quickly. And now we're back in live action with Hewitt and Dent. Experience is starting to show now, and uh, Taylor's starting to wrap a few around the place. Yeah, he was clipping the lines with everything before, but this is where he's really getting hurt on the first serve. He was over 60% yeah. for all of the match, and he's dropped down in the last few games. He's 53% of first serves. Now he's forced to take the pace off his first serve like that to try to get it in. Yeah, that one's that 124 miles now. He's been cracking them at 135, so 124 miles an hour. It's, a, it's having a steamrolling effect, everything. Takes the pace off the first serve. Hewitt gets it back. He's just on 200k. <laughs> yep. Fifteen thirty. The aces go to the front, 13, 12 doubles. 
And go fit forward in front now. 14 aces to 12 double faults. Well, if you're watching at home there, I think you could have a good bet with one another. Yeah. Which one's going to win by the end of the match, the aces or the doubles? Aces have got their nose in front at the moment. Again, Dan, Neil Walsh, please. Dent whole serve, four games to two. It's now seven o'clock here local time. This match has been going just over an hour and a half, an hour and 32 minutes. There's the scoreboard. Here's the motion of the Dent serve. Good body turn, shoulders, hips, bends the knees, comes up into it. Nice ball toss, very correct action, well taught. He's always had a good serve. Fifteen love. Forehand starting to break down a little bit, isn't it? I, I don't think uh, Taylor's forehand is as, as well produced as his backhand. There you see first serves into play, first set, second set, third set. And it's been dropping off for Dent down to, what was that, 37%. Hewitt's come from 41% to 58%, so that has uh, been the difference part of the difference now 40 love comfortable service game for Hewitt Jogging to the sidelines now after he's won the game. A change of ends, it's 5 2. Well, a lot of Australians breathing a sigh of relief at the moment at 5 2 now. Hewitt leads. We go to a two sets to one lead. Dent serving. Well, now I'm sure Taylor's grandmum at home or relatives at home, Phil Dent's. Love Folks are watching this with interest. Pretty good effort to be able yep. to return this first serve for a winner at that speed. Perhaps a little signal that Hewitt's starting to get a, a real feel for the serve. Being able to return it. Love now 30. some trouble for Dent. And again, that's uh, most of them, I would say. He's only hit one double fault long out of 13. The rest of them have been all in the net, which means he's just dropping the shoulder and dropping the head a little bit, and that brings the racket head down. But then he seems to be able to come back with some goods, but the double faults have really hurt him in this match. They've got him into strife, and then uh, Hewitt's been able to capitalise on that. 15-30. choice here you should he go for the passing shot or put up a high lob i would have thought a high lob might have been better uh, dent had such good coverage at the net he thought it was a let yes there's no call they have an automatic machine there that uh, registers with the chair umpire javier marina perez but uh, he said no, so we're at juice.
The reason he's mishitting those serves is not really the pace of the serve on the second serve. He's getting a lot of bite off the court, so the ball is bouncing and then moving away. That slice serve, Hewitt hasn't really got the timing going on the return yet. What he's got to do is just move his feet a little bit over to it. behind here slips <laughs> well, that's where he did take a big top spin whiff at it didn't he juice advantage then Serve, so Hewitt now to serve Hewitt leads by five to go to a two sets to one lead. Good effort by Dent. His last two service games, he's had to play catch up in them to survive. He's been able to do it. Oops, what happened there? Hewitt just was on his way in and his foot went from underneath him on the grass. 15 love. Thirty love. Four aces for you at six double faults. There's a race in that department too. <laughs> oh. Forty love. Easy service game. He's won his last uh, two or three service games very comfortably, Hewitt, and it's because the service percentage as well. They crept up. They're now under fifty percent again. But he's got three set points here for two sets to one lead. Well, it's just under 50 for the match, but he's uh, better than that in, in this set, isn't he? he? Must be up around 60 percent. The volley, this he had to pick it up from below net height. It's not easy to do and get that angle on the off backhand volley. 4015. One more left. 40, 30. <laughs> Hewitt now leads two sets to one. What a match. In this battle, and that's what the stats look like. As we've been talking about, the first serves for the match at 55%, first serves in for, for Dent, 49 for Hewitt. But in that third set, that, 
it was below 50% for uh, Dent. And Hewitt was actually up above 50%. So that's, there's a big swing around there. Let's have a look at the unforced errors. Still more from Hewitt, Fred. That really surprises me. It's not uh, his game. Usually he's way down on the unforced errors. So some problem. Hewitt's ahead two sets to one, but a few problem areas for him. The unforced errors and not really getting enough first serves in, in the first two sets. Well, again, it goes, uh, as you mentioned, you know, how they judge an unforced error, whether it's because of pace of shot from uh, Dent, or whether it's something that he has got time to execute and he misses. So it's a fine line there. Sometimes the stats can be a little misleading in areas such as that. Oh, what a shot, boy. Found some room when there wasn't any on the dead run here. 15. And Dent covering the down the line shot. You could see him moving his body weight over to the left. That was a terrific shot from Hewitt. Hewitt's had nine break point opportunities 15, and converted 15. three of them. And Dent's pretty much the same. He, uh, he's had eight break point chances and converted three. He hasn't had many break points for a while though, has no. he? No. He's picking that serve well. He must read that one, that second serve down the to the forehand, on. Hewitt, because he was all over that one. Anticipating where that one is going. 30 all. forced error or is a forced error it's got to be a forced error because it was the pace of shot that beat him yes caught out in the covers yeah, a lot of the Australian cricketers out here today to watch uh, Pat Rafter play his match and uh, Leighton Hewitt Backhand side's the better side, isn't it? Uh, out of the forehand and backhand yeah. with Dent. On that volley, if, if you were teaching the volley, you couldn't teach it any better than that last one. He just... Oh, there it is again. Moving forward, and just yeah, firm yeah. wrist straight through the ball. So it's one game First to game, love four set. in the fourth set. Let me just update you if you've just joined us. Uh, Patrick Rafter struggled early. He did not have a good day at the office today, but came through and was very confident after winning that third set. Made a brilliant fourth set, but it was tough going in the first couple, Nick. Yeah, it wasn't a good uh, display from Pat. He knows that himself. He was, uh, for whatever reasons, uh, he was very uptight out there and uh, just one of those things. But if you can get away with those matches maybe that's the bad one for yep. the tournament and he'll march on from here he was using in the first couple of sets every time he gets a short ball hit the forehand hard and deep and move to the net oh. 
30-15. It's not a bad tactic for Hewitt to employ either. Every time he gets a short ball, come in and take the net away from Dent. I think that's a good play. I think that as this tournament progresses, I think you're going to have to see a little bit more of that from him. He volleys well too. He does, yeah. Yep. Net for service. Certainly, if you were comparing Hewitt and Agassi, I think Hewitt's by far the superior volleyer. Similar types of game. stage of the match see where Hewitt's forehands are landing most of the days forehands have been landing around the center of the court nothing on them yet he hit his forehand really well in his first round a little bit of extra time though didn't he against Gustafson and that uh, hasn't uh, he hasn't been able to have that luxury today Only just missed the baseline, but a good second serve. Forty thirty. Again, good. Solid serve there from Hewitt. Gets it to one all. One get ball. Full set. Who's winning the race? Oh, oh the Aces, aces are, are, yeah, they've got more than those in front now. 16 to 13. Aces to double faults. He seems to have found his rhythm uh, again on his first serve. Went away there for about half an hour. bad backhands, backhand volleys that he's played. It wasn't a tough one either, so a little window here for Hewitt. 15.30. He'd love to get this early service break. Fourth set. No chance now. Looking at a second serve. Picked the serve again. He was on it. He really wanted to give it a ride. Thirty all. for service.
Bent with some good solid serving. Leads two games to one. And as we go to break, we have a trivia question for you folks. Who holds the long position now? Yeah. Who did he finally lose the service game to? Agassi. Good. There you go. Good. Can't get through you. Frank Fact. Yeah. Well, I've got to have them up here for you. Thanks for asking me that, though. I appreciate you know, that. I've yeah. been kind to you. It's after 7. <laughs> 7.23 local time here as Hewitt serves, leading two sets to one. You've been kind to me. Now I am worried. Got to turn around behind, look behind my back here. Good depth again. Good depth with power. Pretty good combination if you can get it. Please, ladies and gentlemen, no flash photography during play. Thank you. It's ahead by two sets to one, but just get the feeling Dent's making a charge at the moment. Next ten minutes is going to be pretty important. Fifth and all. First set and a half, those were all finding the baseline or just inside the baseline, those big forehands. They're just missing a little more often now. Net for service. Good play. Have a look at his footwork now as he runs into the net. He really has to do a quick shuffle here to get in the right position to play that shot. About six little quick steps to the side. 40 15. Hewitt picking up the pace off the ground and on the serve a little bit now. Hewitt. Two games off. Two all, fourth set. Yeah, he started to get into some rhythm and playing a little more solid, getting a feel for the match. Darren Cahill, I'm sure really helped uh, Leighton when the, they had the rain delay and went inside. Cracks that backhand volley, did not he, Eric? We're going to see a couple of lobs come up soon because he's getting pretty close to the net. When the rain came, Hewitt had lost the first set 6-1, was one all in the second, just having broken back to get to one all and looking in all sorts of trouble. Yeah, he was ready for that. Dent's got away with a few of those earlier in the match. Playing the drop volley or the half volley drop volley. That was a bit too high. I think Hewitt's looking for them now. It's tough to hit a winner off a uh, half volley, isn't it? You just, you've got to stay down on the ball, go through it, and it gives your opponent a good look at a second shot. Another fine return off a second serve. 15-30. 15-30. He's having to play catch-up in a lot of service games, isn't he? He gets down 15-30, love 30. Surviving so far. With this, with this, with this. There's a 
pigeon here that's wanting to come home to roost and the matches are still being played two hours this one's been in progress now they're flying around center court here and uh, saying well what are you guys Four doing in there. my house well, tony trabert told me yesterday there was a hawk they keep here you think he was making that up no it keeps no, the pigeons true. away yeah there is a there is a hawk here yeah it's a pigeon that's not afraid of a hawk Dead for service it wasn't if he's not afraid, he should be. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to see that hawk fly down and capture the pigeon right in front of everybody here. 40 30. <laughs> Dent now showing a bit of uh, enthusiasm. He's, he's there, he wants to go. Three games to two on serve, fourth set. Welcome back to the championships. Centre court action. What a match this has been. What a contrast in styles. Taylor Dent came out and just hit Leighton Hewitt off the court. And then they had the rain delay. Came back and uh, since then... Leighton Hewitt has solved a few of the problems on the return of serve and is in front there on serve in the fourth. Look at you. The thing is that Taylor Dent has got that one service game in front. If he can hold serve and stay in front, then he can freewheel it a little bit and take a few chances on the Hewitt serve. Above 15. 50 all. You wouldn't want to get into a fifth set with Dent, would you? If he gets into the fifth set and gets confident, confident and starts yep. ripping a lot of first serves in, he'd be pretty hard to break. Like that match with Barry Cowan and Pete Sampras that went uh, very late last night. It was just the serve of Cowan and the adrenaline from the crowd that kept him going. I still don't get the impression that he's swinging freely out there. He's, he's still very tentative in his shots. A lot of balls landing short. He would have that in the back of his mind too. Having to come from a game behind all the time to level the score in this fourth set. He wouldn't be very keen on losing the, the set. 14 15. Good serve. That one took the chalk. 40-15. Down Cahill. Watching on intently. point there off the forehand it was the serve that set it up so we're at three all new balls called and again watch the efficiency of these ball kits here they come out of the cans yeah. look at this it's taking about 10 seconds all done it's an army drill isn't it yeah fabulous <laughs> they're so good now these will go through the air a little quicker. Fifty lob. I think he's got to put some lobs up, Fred. He's trying to pass, and there's not a lot of room to pass in. Dent's a big guy and he's 
knows how to move at the net. He's got good net coverage. We haven't seen a, uh, a lob for a while. Get the lobs up. That moves your opponent back a little bit. Looking for the lob gives you a bit more room to pass in. Closing in on the net there, and he's cutting down all the angles by doing that. Here's a wide open for the lob. Have a look at Dead after he plays this shot. Plays the half volley. Have a look at that. All his weight going forward, wide open for the lob. Here's another look at it, closer look at it. Dirty lob. Frustration now in Hewitt's demeanor of these passing shots. And that, the fact that he is not lobbing, tells me that he's very tentative. He's not thinking as clearly as he normally would. Well, with new balls, you figure they're going to whip through, and that one was 141 miles an hour, and four games to three, Dent leads. Folks, there's still a lot of people out here watching the tennis. Beautiful shot of centre court, court one, and the outside courts. And this crowd getting excited now. That last serve, as I mentioned, 141 miles an hour. That's 227k. That's got to be up near the record. Yeah. So, they're on serve. And it's Dent that's that game in front. 15 love. Oh. 15 love. Both players getting a little frustrated at the moment, Nuke, because they know the importance of this. Dent to get to two sets all and, uh, and Hewitt to wrap it up. 30-15. Yeah, you, can, you can feel it, that the tension is starting to mount as we get near the end of this fourth set. try to make it happen let's see if he can readjust his thinking and perhaps come up with a couple of lobs in this game
He doesn't usually miss those. Put it down to tension, Fred. Yes, definitely at this stage. Yeah. serve that second serve 30 left Gerald had run around or moved around that on a few occasions and hit the forehand cross court on that occasion the ball came right into the body <laughs> this is a terrific passing shot Fifteen. Dense ball lands right near the sideline on the baseline. It was a pretty good volley, but yep. a, a better reply down the line. 30-15. Oh. to one. Welcome back to Wimbledon. The Aussies in the crowd trying to get Hewitt going. And this is tough right now. It's getting to the uh, 7.45 in the evening. And we're just discussing what may happen. If, uh, and what Leighton Hewitt may be thinking at this stage, getting towards the end of this set. He wants to win this set to close this match out. do the angle from yes you have to do some work Hewitt in this point to get out of trouble from that angle he could have done a terrific just slice it away out to the forehand 15 luck I watched Elliot tells you when he missed that one and his head went down between his knees Coach of Taylor Dent. Oh, he yep. held it. He held it beautifully yeah. on the line. 30 left. Waited, prepared. This is a deep approach shot again. A terrific shot. Wait until, waited until Dent had made that move across to his right. That gave him a little bit of an opening to pass across court. Smart play. 30 love. Tell you, there's three terrific approach shots here just in this game. And it's Hewitt that's in front, but Dent, you, you cannot fault. He's been in at every one of those points, hasn't he? He could have had love 40. 30-15. This is getting back to how he was playing in the first set, Fred. It's definitely a charge on. a better forehand hasn't seen too many of them today much better timing one across court now the one down the line the opening's there but you've got to have the courage to go for it and you've got to have the pace of shot to hit yep. that one as firm as he's hit any 40 15 looking at the time you were mentioning Fred it's 
you know, 7.45. What time do you reckon it'll get dark here, though? Cool play off. Oh, tonight, the, with the cloud. 8.30, maybe? Probably 8.30, quarter of nine. See if they... If, don't want to yep. jump ahead of ourselves here, but if got to be in the back of Hewitt's mind a, a, a little bit. But if he loses this set, uh, you wouldn't want to finish it four all in the fifth, would you? Well, Dent's always got to, also got to think of that. If he can save this, football. first football, football of the match football. for him. I find that intriguing how they call those after two hours football. and 19 football. minutes. The middle one, I guess that you went to the other side. He called it from the middle one. Football. That's where middle. we've been discussing that because he gets very close yeah, to, the, to the center way. stripe. I bring, I bring my back foot way up. But I'm not he's not I'm understanding what is being told me because his back foot nearly comes along in the back of the, on the baseline there. There's that center stripe that separates. It's before I even start my motion, and I have to be over, it's a football. Yeah. What, what if I'm here when I'm hitting? That, that's enough. It's like if you have one little inside. You can't start with your back foot across that line, and with. Uh, Anyhow, he's got to forget that. This is uh, too important a time. He's checking it out there now. See the right foot nearly over there to that strike. That's and it's a, a double fault, so that's going to throw him off a little bit. That's uh, a tough break. I don't know. He's been doing that all the match. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't call yeah. him earlier. Yeah, exactly. I find it if very that's the rule that they wait this long to do something like that. Oh, what a return. That'll really make him frustrated, Taylor Dent, off the first serve. Love 30. All right, love 30. Pressure mounts. Oh, oh good serve. I think that's his favourite serve, isn't it, out wide? That's the effort the young fellow that has got the experience in this type of a match that Hewitt has had. Still a window of opportunity for the number five seed at 15.30. Two <laughs> super backhand returns cross court. Two of the best he's played in the match. And off first serves too. All of a sudden it's there. Two break points. It's a bit tough second serve. They mishit that first serve. Oh, it just landed out. Looks as if it was going to take the edge of the line. It was close, wasn't it? Geez, mishit a, a lot of those second serve returns, hasn't he, Hewitt? Well, as you said, he gets a little bit of bite on that one. It's, yeah. it's, it gets comes off the pitch, comes off the turf, and it's still pretty green out there, so it slides away. Still break point Hewitt. Oh, he missed it. Went back to the forehand. And Hewitt has broken serve. Six games to five, two sets to one. There you go. He says, hey, you can see the veins in the neck pop out. This fellow wants this one in a tough position for Taylor Dent. He had a backhand that he tried to spank away for a winner. A difficult Thank shot, you. the toughest shot in tennis. He missed it going back to the forehand. Hewitt serving for it. had taken off he may have reached it he's pretty fast took him by surprise this one completely now in loads of trouble you see Hewitt had already taken off for the angle that may have caused Dent to take his eye off the ball go for too much 15 love put these matches away when you've been struggling out there and he's clawed his way back into this match Hewitt Oh, 
Come on, Rock. Come on, Rock. Two match points now for Hewitt. Come on, Rock. Fight. <laughs> well, that's good tactics. You've got to give Taylor Dent some credit here. He's been trying to get into the net and a couple of points he has missed it and kept coming in. Yep. yep. It's the right move for him. Still a match point. the chance try to get it deep get the net position make Hewitt win the point back at juice that's a, a very good shot from out wide to be able to approach if he didn't get good depth he was out of the tournament yeah it's a brave play a good play I like it serve in just when he needs it what an effort they go for the first serve down the middle here break point dent pressure is he he's going to be coming in going to be coming in or he'll give it a whack for a little bit too much and it was the pressure Dan, Dan. from his opponent that she really caused that double fault said. two double faults Dan, in that game caused by that you've got to say Dent's stuck to the game plan by trying to put the pressure on and uh, to it's tough to serve these yeah. ones out after I mentioned they've been out here for two hours and 28 minutes and yeah. I just I just wish in those positions 40 15 up get your first serve in three quarter pace don't try for anything fancy get into a rally he's better in the rallies six all tie break time first player to reach seven with a margin of two one zero Dent. tough time now for Hewitt go through your emotions you're 40 15 up you think okay I've escaped and all of a sudden you're into the tie break readjust your thinking Depth was the key, though.
Needs a couple of those great returns like he played at five all now. Backhand cross court returns. serve of the day. I think 142 miles an hour. 229 kilometers. That's motoring along. 3-1 Dent. That's even faster that one. You talk about an adrenaline rush. We don't even have that one on the board here. 4-1 Dent. 230 odd kilometers an hour for one. get frustrated, he'll take his time. He's played a tremendous tie break so far. Let alone the game he played to get back. Saving match points. 2-4. Two of them. Dents held strong. Broke serve. Now leads 5-2. This fourth set's right on his racket here. landed inside the baseline there's not much you can do against that yeah. and then the big stretch on the forehand four set points for Dent I think he's happy An incredible comeback for Taylor Dent it's two sets all Welcome back to Wimbledon, and boy, another barn burner for you. It's just after 8 o'clock local time. There are the stats of the fourth set. Hewitt there with these aces, and Dent 18 aces, 15 double faults, but the service percentages are there, 47% on second serves. And now it's still Leighton Hewitt, the unforced error, 67 against 58 for Taylor Dent. Points one at the net. Look at that, 42 of them, and uh, backhand winners. So the only area where... Hewitt is in front as the 22 forehand winners as we go into set five. Whether they can complete this one tonight is anybody's call at the moment, depending on how long it goes. Final set. Final set. Hewitt to serve. going now Love he's been on top of the net for the last two and a half games and he's hit winners from every part of the court at the net position Love 15 oh. called wide 15 all
missed it. He had to play. It was a planned point. It did. Played the drop shot. Was not a good one. But he gets the shot that he wants. And the lob over the head. Just too much on it. 30-15. He's got his touch back again, hasn't he? Very similar to the form in the first set where the approach shots so were all deal. landing very close to the baseline. Getting great net position. Very, very tough to pass. Yeah. As you mentioned, Nick, Taylor Dent plays in spurts. And most serve and volleys do because they rely on their serve and he went off the boil for a while on the serve, served a few double faults, but came back when it counted and then the return came back and the approach shots. Game to it's game to Hewitt. He wins the opening game of the fifth and final game, set. Final you can set. see it developing in that uh, fourth set. As I mentioned earlier in the set, that you know Taylor was making a charge at that time and it was going to be very important for Leighton to hang on. And he's got a, you know, it's so disappointing, isn't it? You serve for the match, 6-5 in the fourth set, you lead 40-15, and all of a sudden you, you're still out there on the court. It's like, wait a minute, is this really happening? Yeah. You've got to, you've got to put that. all the pass behind you and, and keep going. And Leighton's pretty good at that. Now he's got to figure out a way how to break serve again. Great defensive play. It was a good get because they've been out there for a long while to track that one down and put up the defensive lob to get himself back into it. Love 15. This is a much better return from the forehand. He felt on a lot of them he's not moving his feet as well as he normally does. You've got to be looking for the wide serve now, don't you, out to the forehand. Yep. He goes to it a lot on big points. Well, you can't get a better point than that, folks. A ripper of a first serve. Look at this return. Then a great half volley. Look how low Hewitt gets 14. down to play this shot. Just stayed down all the time. Love 40. Three break points. seen Leighton New take for a while after that one and it was a safe shot he played just kept it down low <laughs> well you, you've coached him you know what this kid's like look at this look at this jump how about that <laughs> I think he just said I'm not going down <laughs> to love fifth and final set unbelievable match this one and Hewitt now has an opportunity to consolidate this with new balls on the serve. something with his strings here he's got to be careful he doesn't over adrenaline 
in, in Nice there, Fred, in the Davis Cup final in 99 when he's played Peel and he saved three set points from 6-3 in the breaker in the first set, got back to 6-all, uh, broke uh, serve to go to head 7-6 in the tie break, drew a line in the sand and said, there's a line and I'm not going back, he yelled out. And he came over and served the worst double fault ever. Match for service. <laughs> yeah, I was there for that match. It was, this is this is just unbelievable stuff here at this time of night. Eight eight oh nine local time. Ned for service. And this place is still packed. Well, this is a big game now because two love. Yep. You, you really you have to consolidate. You, when you break, you've got to come around. You've got to hold your own serve. Well, he's got the best chance, as I mentioned. He's got new balls serving with new balls. Pretty love. It's surprising to see Dent hit the ball that soft. To hit it exactly the way like that. Yeah. Risky second it. serve. 40 love. Again, oh. oh. Here at, in a jogging mode again. Three games to love. He leads. Fifth set. They're not getting very restless, and you can see the sun, the shadows on centre court on the building, and uh, boy, what an exciting tussle this has been so far. It's not over yet, though, that three-love scoreline. That's only one service break. Ned for service. I return backhand volley. He's hit that beautifully today. I can only really remember one bad one that he's hit. Aces though, 18 aces. They thought they've been expensive though, haven't they? It's a tough time to Some serve one at 15 all. Oh. A pigeon will not go away. There's a couple of them here. Bring out Tony Travitz Hawk. Yeah. 
Sliding away again, yeah. picks up a little bit extra off the uh, court. So Dent's on the board at 3 1. I mentioned just the one service break. It's a cushion, but not a very big not, one. You've got to keep your mind on the job here. Concentration, that's uh, two hours and 48 minutes of play in this match. room to move in there and again Nick it's a terrific approach shot this is not a bad approach it's got some bite on it in the oh, corner yeah. but that's a thread the needle down the line well done plays those approach shots is the way he moves in behind it. He, he, he's, he's on the move as he plays the shot and he gets terrific net position. He doesn't play it and then start to run. He's, he's on his way forward. Dirty love. here with oh, the net yeah, cord. Good job by Dent to even recover to make that shot. he played this shot he came in and really had the net covered in a good position he was looking for the one down the line but also ready to go for the cross court that's a good stretch 40 15. smart play and good coverage <laughs> yep that took the line you see yeah. the chalk come up yeah. So view it now with a 4-1 lead, final set. What a fabulous shot that is in the late afternoon here at Wimbledon, or shall I say early evening. And this match is uh, just, uh, just short, 10 minutes short of three hours long, and it's 8.20 in the evening. Still plenty of light left. Dent serves 4-1 down. <laughs> and the crowd are really warm to this young fellow. He played here last year, lost in the first round to Agassi, won the first set against Agassi, and then had to forfeit in the, in the fourth set when he injured himself. And you can see how, because he's all over the court. Dives and rolls. 15 love. 15 all. The double faults are starting to catch up now to the aces. It's well, he did an ace before, well, so they're still ahead. Good nose in front, 19 to 17, aces to double faults. the half volley he didn't have an opportunity to make a volley that's where 
Hewitt has been so tough today. The games that he's broken serve have been a lot of them making Dent play half volleys. Yep, there's the lob. It's been a long time coming. I don't think he's hit one since the second set. But he was wide open for it. Body weight closing in towards the net. 15, 14. No, no chance. Didn't even make an effort. Two break points. 15, 40. classical grass court volley you get in for the 40. first volley you play it deep you get your net position put away the second one <laughs> 30 40 second yeah. serve yeah, tough four second one serve. down in the fifth difficult he's had a few problems and tight positions on serve made the wrong shot selection Hewitt still great court coverage there he's off balance when he's well, got to come back he's got to race and look at this is. Fred I think he thought that Dent was going to come charging across yeah. to cover the down the line yeah. shot and that's why he chose that way so again excellent court coverage or net coverage by Dent to get out of a very tight situation juice position to move either way yeah, he holds his ground so well up there advantage then and Hewitt had to make a choice there do I go cross court again or down the line okay I went cross court now I'll go down the line game point dent <laughs> oh, that's good yeah, stuff dent. boy so two match points at five six down Kiwi leads by four In the games to fourth two. set. If he loses that last game, 5-1, you're out of the tournament yeah, virtually, yeah. you think. Although we've seen a 5-1 in the fifth comeback, haven't we? Yeah, we Another have. Washington against Todd, Todd Martin, Martin in the semis. Neither one of these guys are going to choke as badly as poor Todd Martin did in that match. 4-2. Just the one service break yeah, still yeah. out now that he survived that last game, Dent. challenge he came in from a pretty deep position deep on that occasion he worked hard to make that shot didn't he? he must have been a couple of meters behind the baseline that he loved he's got it super shot from out wide Looked like he was going to be lucky to reach it. 30 to stand. Meds for service. Again, two. Five games to two. A couple of good first serves from Hewitt. Gets him in that position. Welcome back to Wimbledon. An exciting finale. Three hours of tennis. This one now. And it's Leighton Hewitt. 
stands at 5-2, but it's only that one service break. Dent would like to win this game and let Hewitt serve for the match once more. careful there you only have to touch the net and it's a foul shot yeah but it was the lob again fred wasn't it she saved it till the very it. end a good job to get to this one love 15. yes hewitt would dearly love to win this game and not have to put himself through the agony of serving because he'd remember the last time he served for it he had match points and lost it. That has probably been his weakest return today. Second court, forehand return. Well, he had quite a few of them at one stage to get back in the in the second set. Well, he made them from the first court though. He was making those forehands. That one down the middle on the second court. He. I don't know, he seems to be lifting or something. 15, 30. Yeah. Well, are catching up again now. You've got to, you've got to be thinking Dent's going to go down the middle. 15, again. 30. I'm getting sweaty palms again. his favourite serve, that's ace number 21. 30 out. smash straight at him it is match point <laughs> third match point save this <laughs> tempted to think like this this guy doesn't know when he's dead no, can't put him away. Marvellous stuff. Does not want to go away. Great fighting. Juice. Oh. You could say, Newt, it's worthy of a final. This, this is incredible oh, efforts right again from yeah. both players. Look at this effort here from Hewitt. Game point, Dent. <laughs> oh, what can you say? Hey, what can you say? Well, you know what's going to happen this game as far as Dent's concerned. He's going to an all-out assault once again like he did at 6-5 in the fourth set. To try to break serve, and Hewitt's got to try to get first serves in. 5-3, serving for the match. Get the first serve in, keep him pinned on the baseline. came back at him like a bullet, didn't it? Yeah, he's just, he's, the depth on the shots, the Love return and then the next shot, and the angle forehand volley, great point. 
Love 15. Two out of two first serves, 15 all. Mad for service. It's incredible, isn't it? When you think about it, Leighton was 4-1 and points to 15-40 to go ahead 5-1. And a match point at 5-2. Two match points in the fourth set. You know he'd be coming at you now. Oh. Centimeters over the baseline. Third day of the Did not miss by much. Yeah. He had terrific net position once again, moving in so quickly, the depth of that shot. Thirty fifteen. Ah. Run down no. the middle, he went yep. for it. No fist pumping. Nothing from Hewitt. He just wants to get the job done now. 40, 50. Get into the dressing room. Match points. He's had three of them. He has two on his racket now. <laughs> and it's over. Now the emotion. The emotion from Hewitt. Incredible. Both these young men have entertained everybody here. One, six, seven, five, six, three, six, seven, For six, three. over three hours. And Nick, just a tremendous effort from both these lads. I was. Uh, you know, let's uh, talk about Taylor Dent first. He can walk away from this court with his head held high. A great experience for him out here on the centre court. Tremendous fight back. And showed us that he's going to be a contender here over the years. The Wimbledon title, the uh, ability certainly there. And from Leighton Hewitt, Fred, I mean, I think this is going to do him a lot of good. I don't know, uh, physically it's taken a little bit out of him, and he maybe didn't need that early in the first week. But he's broken the bogey of centre court, singles on the centre court. He lost to Boris Becker two years ago. Gamble last year in the first round, and he looked like he might have, go, have gone out uh, today early in the match. But he fought that away, and he's come back and uh, got that off his back. Well, hats off to both of them. Very proud parents there as their son gets through. And I'm sure that was Phil Dent, Taylor's dad, uh, shaking hands there. That's the way the draw looks now for Hewitt. He uh, has a pretty good draw there against El Inouye. And the winner of that match to play Escudé and Grosjean. Grosjean, the Frenchman, is creeping through. And he plays another Frenchman in Escudé. So... Uh, the draw looks pretty good for Leighton Hewitt at this stage, Nick. Yeah, well, he'll want to be in great form uh, to get through those matches, but even in greater form when he reaches the quarters, if he gets there, because it'll probably be Andre Agassi in the quarterfinal. Well, hats off to both those fellows for a fantastic match. Now we'll close the day's proceedings with Kenny Sutcliffe after the break. <laughs> 